have asked me how I became fluent in three languages with minimal effort. Okay, today I'll share some of my secrets. Hello everyone, I'm Lux and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about tips and tricks for learning Chinese. Though my channel focuses on Chinese Mandarin, the things I'm about to talk about can be applied to just any language. So without further ado, let's get started. The first language learning tip I want to share is called the Apple Principle. Though this is something I came up with myself, I found it incredibly useful over the years, especially for improving spoken language skills. Essentially, the Apple Principle involves associating new vocabulary words directly with the object, feeling, or situation they represent, rather than linking them to their English translation or any language that you use to learn Chinese, if that makes any sense. So for example, the Chinese word apple is 苹果. When you are learning this word, in your brain or your subconscious mind, you should try to associate that word with the image of an actual apple rather than the English word apple. And this method can be applied to any new vocabulary that you encounter in your target language. This principle, or I would say this learning method, is quite different from traditional language learning methods that heavily rely on translation. While translation can be a useful tool for language acquisition, it can also be detrimental sometimes, particularly when it comes to learning vocabulary. So translating a word from one language to another involves finding the perfect word in your native language and matching it to the language you're trying to learn. However, language is intertwined with culture and finding an exact match between two distinct cultural environments can be really challenging. So in that case, inaccuracies may arise in your learning as you resort to settling for the second best alternative word when translating. Another problem with translation is it causes delays in your speaking. So as a little child, you likely learned your mother tongue without consciously translating words. Or at that time, you did not even have the full ability to translate. Instead, adults would show you an actual apple or a picture of one and repeat the word until you learned it. The apple principle is essentially trying to simulate how a Chinese native speaker learns Chinese. You might not even realize when you translate, your brain associates the word with your mother tongue before associating it with the actual object causing a lot of unnecessary delays. But by applying and practicing the Apple principle, you can cut out this delay and improve your reaction time when speaking. You may think it does not make a huge difference with the word Apple in our example, but this can be super helpful for more complex and less frequently used vocabulary. Okay, then the second tip. To pick up a new language quickly, it's important to immerse yourself in the environment of your target language. This may involve listening to music, uh, especially for your Mandarin learners, try to find Mandarin songs instead of Cantonese songs, since that's a whole other story, or watching dramas, movies, and TV shows in Chinese Mandarin. Uh, what you want to achieve by doing this is to really understand and familiarize yourself with the culture behind the language. For example, in English, saying thank you is the norm when someone compliments you. But in Chinese, cultural differences may make this response less common. The third point that I want to talk about today is actually a sneak peek of one of my upcoming videos. So to put it simply, this method is to summarize your daily life. You can start by simply writing journals as you normally would, but try to replace a few words with their Chinese equivalents. Then, each day, try to find a word you want to express but don't know how to say it in Chinese and look it up. This approach is going to be very effective because you remember the vocabulary or expressions better when you apply them in daily situations. 
when you need to express the same thing again, you will find the vocabulary comes to you naturally. Then, to take it to the next level, especially for your intermediate learners, try summarizing what you're about to do in Chinese. This one is a little different from the journal entries. You won't have much time to think about which words to use, so you will need to rely on your existing Chinese dictionary. For instance, if you're about to send an email to a colleague, summarize the steps in Chinese, starting with turning on your laptop. Don't be afraid to say it out loud, even if it feels strange at first. It's always good to start with your daily life and as you progress, try summarizing news and stories that interest you. And in future videos, I'll definitely talk more about how to start this whole summarizing journey. And I'm also working on some really cool pre-written worksheets just to help with your summarizing experience. And I hope you stay tuned for that. Last but not least for this video, I would also like to suggest language exchange programs as an option for you to consider. There are many excellent programs available that you can explore. For instance, you could host Chinese exchange students to get that language exchange experience. There are also various apps and websites online where you can chat with Chinese native speakers. But of course, these language exchange programs will require you to teach your partner your native language in return. When I first started this channel, I thought about what I could offer my followers and students once our community grew, and there was this idea that came to me, which is to speak Chinese with me, the one-on-one -on -one coaching course. Um, I really would appreciate your feedback on this idea, and please share your thoughts in the comment section down below, and let me know what you would like to see in my future videos. Thank you so so much for watching. Growing a community on YouTube is such a difficult thing, but I'm so glad I appreciate each of you who subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. That just means the whole world to me. I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in my next one.